All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. You can probably tell that I'm not out fishing today. Unfortunately, I'm doing work to my motor. And what I got here, if you watched my uh, video where I talked about an aluminum boat and why I chose an aluminum boat, I had a 50 horsepower Mercury on here. Well, a couple weeks after I did that video, I opted to trade that motor in or I actually sold that motor and I bought a 75 horsepower Mercury because I always wanted one to put on this boat. And let's just say that the experience has been a little bit less than pleasurable. I've had issues with this motor. It will not open up full throttle. Some really weird stuff's going on. You take the uh, car box here off, it'll run wide open and run perfect. You put the car box back on and it runs like crap. So basically what I'm doing today is I'm gonna pull the carburetors back off I'm gonna replace the jets and the carburetors, and I'm also going to put new reed blocks, new gaskets, and new reeds in this motor as well. So what I'm gonna do with this video, I'm gonna show you the procedure of removing the carburetors off of this motor, what tools you need. It's fairly easy uh, procedure, but it's got a couple little quirks to it that you need to know about to get them off a little bit easier. So I'm gonna show you all that. So let's go ahead and get started and start tearing this thing apart. All right, so the particular tools you need for this uh, particular job are you need a quarter inch ratchet. You need a extension. This is a three inch quarter inch extension. You need a eight millimeter deep socket. You need a 10 millimeter deep socket. You need a 13 millimeter short and you can get away with a 13 millimeter short all the way, but it is a little bit easier if you also have a 13 millimeter deep socket as well. And then you also need a Phillips screwdriver and you need a flathead screwdriver. And you'll see what those are for right here shortly. So let's go ahead and uh, start this procedure and I'll show y'all how to do it. All right, so I've got this thing on my head. Hopefully you can, you all can see what I'm looking at. All right, so your Phillips screwdriver, right here you have to take the car box off and i've already taken out a couple screws so i only have the top two in here right now so i'm going to take them out so and you don't want to lose any of these parts so you take the front of the car box off first and you just pull that up just like that and what i've been doing is i've been putting the parts in the front of the car box so you don't lose them all right so what you have here, this is where you use your deep socket, your 13 millimeter right here. But we need to go ahead and get this uh, taken apart right here. This is to hold your oil tank in place. So these are eight millimeter. So you'll, and you can use short on this, uh, a short eight millimeter, but long makes you a little bit easier. You can clear. All right, so take this off right here, put that in there. And what you're gonna have to do is right now, this right here that's holding your carbs in place is also holding this in place right now. But once you loosen this, you'll pull your oil tank forward and you'll wanna push that back out of the way and use some tie wraps or cable ties to hold that out of the way. But before you take this off, you have to disconnect your steering cable and your throttle linkage right back here and take those off and get that so you can those won't be in the way so you can get this off right here the uh the front plate to your carbs all right so i did also forget that you do need a 10 millimeter short in order to get this nut off right here and this has a little like a little clip on it i hope y'all can see that right there you need to pop that off in order so you can pull your linkages out so let's get these undone and be sure not to drop any of these nuts down in there because i'm gonna tell you i have and it is a pain to get them back so you'll take that and push that off right there get that out of the way and then you'll need to grab your extension
And I'm also going to go ahead and replace a couple of these fuel lines in here as well. All right, so pop that off. And you'll want to get these out right here. Because those are going to have to come out to get the to get this car box off. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start taking these off. And this is where you need the deep 13 for these bolts right here. And you kind of want to break these loose evenly. All right, and then this is what you need that 13 short for right here and if you'll notice and I'm not real sure why they did this there's got to be a purpose for it but it's two bolts that run in to hold the bottom carb on and that thing is really sucky to get back on but the top has two rods that come out and they you slide the carburetors on them so they're very easy to deal with. Like I said, this bottom carburetor is pretty aggravating. It will just fall down. It's, it's when you put it back on, it's kind of tough to get the gaskets to stay where you want them to be. I'm going to show you the procedure for lifting this carburetor up. And this right here is where this oil tank gets aggravating. It's pushing forward on this, on your plate that holds your carbs up in your carb box and all. So you need to get that thing pushed back and pulled out of the way with some tie wraps. So let's get some tie wraps and get that out of the way. All right, so we got the tie wraps right around the front, so we got that out of the way. Don't have to worry about that anymore. So let's get this plate off. And then we're, what we have to do after we get this off, off is you have to cut the, the tie wraps or take the clamps off, whichever yours has off the fuel line so you can get the carburetors off. And as I've stated, these bottom bolts are the most aggravating thing to deal with in this whole procedure the ups man just rolled up a few seconds ago and he's got my jets so he just dropped them off at the house so my wife is gonna bring them to me here shortly get those things chased that uh changed out this is basically a a wish and a prayer that it's gonna what i'm doing is gonna fix this motor because if this doesn't fix it it's going back to where i bought it from and i'm gonna have to decide whether i'm gonna get another boat or if i'm gonna get another motor or whatever i don't want to get another boat personally i love my boat but this was just one of them things i wanted a bigger motor and hadn't really worked out all that great for me all right so Here's the procedure for moving, removing this box off the front. What you have to do is right here, you can see your linkages go into the side. So you pull them out and you pull the box forward and you have to pull it off of these, off of these studs right here. All right, so you make sure that is pulled out of the way. And then you basically have to kind of pull the carb and what you have. And also this is aggravating this piece right here that that holds that clips over and holds your uh, cables in that thing likes to fall back in the way so and like i said that's grabbing right there so basically you you have to get this bolt pulled out and there we go got that bolt pulled out got that bolt pulled out and there you go you got it so that is pulled off and as i as i said so you have your cables free here, and as I said, your bottom carb just falls down, and the gasket is still stuck on there, but that thing can be a major pain. And you can see every 
carburetor now is free. So we're gonna take the gaskets off the front and you have to, here you have your tie wraps. So you have to cut your tie wraps so you can pull your carburetors off and you wanna mark them. You don't wanna get these mixed up um, because they do have specific positions where they go on the uh, on the motor block, you know, where they bolt up to your to your uh, reed blocks. There, you you don't want to get them mixed up. So I'm gonna take a pair of little cutters and get these cut and get that cut off, and then we'll pull the carburetors off. All right. So I got my little cutters here. You need these little these little type of cutters to be able to get in there and get these tie wraps cut. But before I do that, you need to remove. This is a linkage that links all three carburetors together and you have to remove that linkage. So you, by doing that, how you do it is you just take a flathead screwdriver and you put it behind it and you basically just pop it off. So you wanna, you wanna pop that thing off and you don't you wanna be sure you don't break it. So, and basically you just you put a little pressure on it and it pops off just like that one did. And you have to pop this one off as well. And I just popped that one off. That's your, that's your linkage down here. And that is the linkage for your oil, your oil pump. So you wanna make sure that's hooked up as well. And then you just pop it off the bottom here. And this is what it looks like. This is the linkage that connects all three of your carburetors together and all three of this equal length so you can have it up one way or the other it really doesn't matter but so they're all disconnected like they're supposed to be and you want to cut that and what and what i've been doing is just to avoid having to pull all of cut all of these and pull them all off you want to kind of just cut as few as you can so that one's coming from there so we're just gonna pull the top carb right now so basically you just and you got to be careful because this is a plastic fitting all right so you pull that one out and then to pull the top carb out this one goes to the fuel pump or I mean back to your, from your fuel pump to your uh, fuel filter. So you pull that one out and that's your top carburetor. And be careful because that thing is going to, it has gas in the bowl. All right, and like I said, you want to mark these with a Sharpie. So I'm going to put T for top and then middle for the middle one. So we'll get this one off. your middle carb and then your bottom all right so that pretty much is the procedure on removing the carburetors off of this is a 99 75 horsepower I, I know these models own up into mid 2000s you know, 40s, 50s, 60s, 75s, 90s, 115s, they all basically have the same block and pretty much all the same size um, bolts and nuts and everything holding everything together. So that's pretty much the uh, the procedure. So like I said, now I'm gonna get right and pull the reed blocks off and I'm gonna replace the reed blocks and the gaskets and the reeds on this motor, but I'm not gonna get into that right now in this video. I just wanted to show y'all how to pull the carbs off. All right, so, that's going to conclude this video and i'm happy to report that all of the work i did to it which was a lot that i did to this motor what i did last was i changed jets in the carburetors after i took them off and i replaced the reed blocks the reeds and all the gaskets 
on you know in the reed blocks and at the carburetors where the carburetors meet the reed blocks new gaskets on everything and i'm happy to report that now my 75 is running like brand new running awesome so all that work i put into it it finally has paid off i will admit the guy that i bought it from he which was afa marine albert he stuck with me the whole time he paid for everything you know really great guy great company afa marine they sell used motors and stuff so i'm gonna give him props on that he never left me hanging out one time so he that it's a very good business and he stood behind the motor 100 he was going to give me my money back whatever but i'm happy to report that the motor's running like a top my boat runs now by myself over 43 mile per hour so i'm extremely happy so that was the procedure on how to pull the carburetors off i hope i helped y'all out it's not a hard procedure but you know it's i've did it so much in the last couple of weeks that like i can take them off in a matter of minutes so i just want to show y'all how to do it help y'all out so anyway like and subscribe go check out some of my other fishing videos and all and i just i want to have different types of videos and stuff on my channel not just well not just fishing different types of fishing and like boat maintenance stuff like that so if you like this type of videos let me know you know hit me up down in the comment section and let me know and i'll do more like it and anyway i just appreciate y'all watching and i'll see y'all next time on gunfish tv